the scientific method, all right? This is a proven methodology of investigators used by fire investigators and it's supported by the NFPA. It's also a method really relied on by anybody in the problem solving community. So let's see how this works. Now, the process really starts when with asking a question or identifying a problem. And it's during this phase that all the data collection and analytics really get completed as well. And once that data analysis is complete, you move on to constructing several hypotheses to test the collected and analyzed data. Remember to construct numerous theories to review to avoid any bias when testing. Now you're on to stress testing your first hypothesis. You review that scenario against all the collected data to see if your theory is accurate. And when that test is complete, does the conclusion match your first hypothesis? If not, go back to step number two, all right? Try your second or, or hypothesis, test it again, and form your conclusions. Now, if your findings support the hypothesis, congrats, but you're not done, all right? Just like second grade math, you've got to check and show your work, all right? Confirm too that none of the other untested hypotheses have a shared conclusion with the one you are working on. Then and only then should you move on to creating a report or share any of your findings.